welcome back to my channel way to merchant because once again hopefully you guys are doing well if you haven't subscribed my channel please go and subscribe my channel hit the bell icon press all to get notification for all my upcoming video so before we do the topic today's topic is going to be very important but before that it is just something uh, study purpose or something that type of topic will be there so before that if you want to get any kind of study material for the exams your ETO, GME, your competitive uh, shipping company examinations or uh, whatever it is you can go sponsorship IMOCT everything you will get in the description box links are provided go and uh, check it out okay if you have any doubt you can whatsapp me instagram me whatever as per your convenience so topic is for today uh, your basic watchkeeping duties during anchorage okay uh, you know what uh, most of the officer thinks that uh, ship is in anchor yeah responsibility is little less definitely when ship has uh, ship is in at sea definitely responsibility increases but when at anchor that time also there is responsibilities okay so which all things you need to carry out during your watch keeping while ship at anchor i will tell you i'll discuss you these things with you okay first thing i have written down uh, so first thing is calculate the swinging circle uh, so what is swinging circle okay so if visualization is there i can make you better understand but now i don't have that uh, so uh, swinging circle means a ship is positioned in a pivot okay and uh, there is a circle actually when ship is at anchor ship used to swing okay so suppose in a radius it used to swing but if it is out of the that radius of the circle then anchor is drying so how to calculate the swinging circle you have to measure the ship's LOA length overall but not complete LOA from the bow to the aft of the accommodation that is the thing you will find that length from the bridge wing by a bridge wing it is stain sealed okay so you can go and check it out uh, into uh, first you have to find the shackles how many shackles you have put in the water okay so uh, suppose five shackles you have, uh, six shackles you have put in water one shackle is equal to 27.5 meters you all know so you convert into the, um, uh, the that meters plus LOA divided by 1.852 whatever uh, to convert it into meters so you'll find the radius meters so you just put the circle on the chart and if you have egg this there is a option you can go and put the swinging circle on the egg this also most important and second point is the follow master standing order there is a difference between the master standing order and night order first uh, clear yourself this thing standing order is static basically a yeah, master can change but definitely it used to be same and night order basically depends on the situation depends on the weather depends on to the voyage depends on to the route depends on to external factors internal factors lot of things okay pilotage anchorage port of call lot of things are there so they used to change but uh, standing order almost remains same so there should be three four five standing order would be there for the anchorage anchor watch that uh, which all things you need to uh, keep it in your mind during the watch so follow that thing and never ever hesitate to call master if you are in any doubt because master used to get paid for that thing only to get a call <laughs> that is very true if you have any slightest of doubt just call master even in standing order last point you will find in night order last point you will find do not hesitate to call me if you have any doubt this thing is always mentioned so do not so first thing swing circle second thing master standing order third thing keep a check on your ship another ship in the vicinity definitely you have the radar you have the eggs you have the eyes most importantly you have the eyes okay so please keep checking your ship's position and there should not be any diversion okay your ship position as well as your ship speed there should not be ship speed more than one knot sometimes in heavy weather i'm telling okay if if it is one more than one knot definitely anchor is drying definitely anchor is drying and in, you can find it from the course recorder also lot of things are there to find the anchor is dragging or not that is separate video topic i might make another video regarding it so 
and most importantly in that scenario uh, you have to send one AB to forward and check the bow stopper clearance most importantly like that you have to check this bow stopper clearance maybe six centimeter four to six centimeters is enough again that depends on the chief officer master they will tell you if you are junior officer they will tell you that uh, this gap should be maintained at all time and definitely the anchor position six o'clock three o'clock four o'clock short stay long stay this thing you need to know very important these things you need to know bow stopper clearance need to know so you can send one ab maybe hourly okay and some chief officer used to prefer ab on deck during anchor anchorage to do some maintenance work also some chief officers i have seen they used to do it so, th so there will be easy you have the okay you just tell that you go to the forward station check the uh, anchor clearance bow stopper clearance and the uh, uh, position of the anchor and report to me and another thing you have to check other ships in the vicinity that what the ships are doing if any trails are coming in the radar from that ship is she heaving up the anchor or moving very important because because interaction of the ship is really happens okay interaction of the ship is different topic so i'll discuss maybe later so if some ship is heaving anchor or some ship is dragging anchor so communication is very important okay uh, the fourth point which i have already discussed i think still uh, keep constant monitoring of the ship's position your own ship position is very important you can do it from gps radar whatever you do it plotting is important okay manual plotting definitely you do if you have any terrestrial object around it you can do it lops take three lops cocktail do it finish fifth point display appropriate light and shapes as far as anchor lights are concerned there will be one white light if vessel is less than 100 meter if uh, more than 100 meters then one white light on the forward on one in the aft anchor lights okay apart from that in the day play black ball on the forward basically as per our wherever it is based in but we used to keep it in the forward mast now keeping constant VHF watch why it, it is important it is not for safety all the times it is for your ships daily daily daily, uh, daily basis operation also because maybe in VHF uh, uh, maybe if the VTI is used to inform that pilot station is that time that time you have to keep the anchor you have to report that this position that position maybe another ship is dragging maybe they will broadcast the safety message via VHF also so keep always monitoring VHF channel 16 one will be there another will be depends on the vtis maybe they will tell you both on the channel 16 but definitely they will not tell you maybe one channel 6 one channel 16 or maybe channel 13 16 depends on the vtis they will tell you before that now alert nearby vessel if required if you see something fishy if you see you need to alert then you can have the vha you have the aldis lamp you have uh, then you can alert the vessels okay we call and tell this 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 happened maybe dragging maybe i am dragging okay another uh, thing i want to mention yeah another thing is mentioned the communication with, with the engine room in case of anchor dragging what is the uh, minimum uh, engine readiness time short notice long notice these things you have to keep it in your mind and if anything goes wrong engine should be always in the standby maybe in the if lot of ships are in vicinity master used to uh, tell the barasa or chief engineer that uh, keep engine ready for the short notice okay so as a deck officer or watch keeping officer you have to be very cautious during your anchor watch eight points i think i have covered so if you like this video please do not forget to subscribe and uh, like the video also and if you have any point to add on or if you feel that uh, this is <laughs> don't required actually all the points are required but if you feel f to let me know that that if you, you can add also if i have missed some points you can definitely add the add those points uh, in the comment section so i'll definitely consider and i'll reply back to you okay so thank you for watching uh, if, again i'm telling please do not forget to subscribe my channel See you in my next video. Signing off for the day.